Ready to game the system? Meet Mana. You slay. You achieve. Jesus Christ. You win. So should your bank account. Because. Let's yeah, skip a little bit ahead. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Add a run through. Alright. So you know what? You know. Um, I hope it's gonna be great. Uh, I haven't seen much of it anyway, so there's not much to be seen on my end. So yeah, let's uh, let's hope something. I missed, you know, a lot of it. So yeah, hope for hope for the best. Hope for the best. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Cockle. Though you might know me best from CD Projekt Red's beloved Witcher trilogy, where I voice the original bath-taking monster slayer. Yes. Geralt. Rivia. Yes, the Geralt. Now we've got a great show for you today. From the river. But I'm not hosting it alone. Oh no. Now I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's been with Geralt through thick and thin, from mountains high to valleys low, and the occasional thatched roof. Of course, I'm referring to the incomparable, gravity-defying Roach. Wait a second, you thought that you were hosting a video game showcase with a horse? <laughs> I was a little confused when they sent oh, me the brief. Again? But, okay. Uh, this actually right. makes a lot more Jens sense. Yes, VA. Lovely to see you again, Denise. Hello, everyone. My name is Denise Goff, and I voice the powerful sorceress Yennefer or Gundebrug in The Witcher 3. But today, this is the future game show, powered by Mana. And we're going to treat you to over an hour of exclusive trailers for upcoming video games. Now you'll be able to find and wish list all of the games from today's show on the Future Game Show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com to read more about them. Let's kick things off with our first world premiere, shall we? Yeah, hey, alright, alright, we're jumping straight in. Also, that they have, you know, well, Jens VA and uh, Girls VA. Now that's. Don't have much to say about it though. Maybe a little bit of Mass Effect, but hey. From the creation that we are most proud of. <laughs> that cool. was Outpost, which is a working title. Wishlist at the ready, as it's coming soon to PC. Next up, we've got a psychological horror game that explores grief and loss in a familiar environment. Grief and loss? 18. Oh, it's Peggy 18? Oh. oh no. Oh no. So there's an old saying about this place called hell where bad people go to after they're dead, not to die. But the worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really takes. This looks already nice. Pretty creepy and all. I have no idea what this game is no, about. I know she said, you know, about grief and all that, but other than that, I don't see more here. Ghost?
Okay. Such a creepy game, though. Pluto? Huh. Interesting, interesting. Pluto is coming to PlayStation and PC in 2022. Now, here's Inflection Games' Aaron Flynn to tell you more about the studio's debut game, Nightingale. Jesus, we're pumping it off, eh? From one game to another. Ever since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms. Of course, we have seen this game before, so it's not really anything new. Hello, but maybe a I'm Aaron Flynn, CEO look. of Inflection Games, the developer of Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game set in a rich, gas lamp fantasy universe. You may have seen our latest gameplay trailer during Summer Game Fest Live this week. In that footage, we revealed the Realm Card System, a key mechanic in our game that allows players to access the portal network and explore the magical Fey Realms. We wanted to take this opportunity today to walk you through how the system works in a little bit more detail. As a Realm Walker, stranded in a mysterious and deadly new world, the Realm Cards are a way to access other realms. Players craft Realm Cards using magical materials they find in the environment. And those cards are then used to activate portals. Mm, that's which cool. Which will then connect you to one of the many possible realms that exist in the Fey universe. Each card has different properties, like modifiers, that determine different elements of the realm that players connect to. Whether that's new environments, the types of creatures, weather patterns, or how rich in a particular resource a realm might be. Players can combine multiple cards, expanding the possibilities of each new destination. In creating the Realm Card system, we not only wanted to offer a way for players to discover everything that the realms have to offer, but also empower players with the ability to influence and control the nature of the realms that they explore. This, paired with a sophisticated procedural generation system, makes the possibilities for adventure across the Fey Realms almost limitless. Wait, what? Procedural? The choice this offers players, and oh no God. shortage of combinations to experiment with and learn. Will you find a realm overrun with dangerous creatures? Or a tranquil place where you can catch your breath? Will it be filled with abundant natural resources? Or will it be dark and battered by storms where a lantern is your only source of light? We're so excited to see how players explore all the possibilities that realm cards have to offer, and what incredible new destinations they may unlock on their journey. We hope this becomes a gateway for players to discover endless adventures within the world of Nightingale. Thank you for your time. For more information on realm cards, head to playnightingale.com. I'm wondering if it's online or it's single player but also since it's you know limitless almost limitless um you know growth in the game would you see multiple things over and over again proof that you should never trust portals because you know nightingale is coming to pc early access in q4 2022 because one sometimes okay you know. world premiere time here's the next game from the team that brought you the delightful co-op puzzler fogs because you have to find unique you know things to progress in the world <laughs> then if, if you don't you know you might run into problems but we'll see you know what uh, what nightingale is going to be like on release i mean this looks like some kind of i don't know Poor man's Mario Kart? Or even uh, something to do with... Boats. I mean they're using mad... Well, is it mats though? Or are they using something else? Look like seats almost. It's almost like steep, just in sand. And with the... I guess more cartoonish uh, art style. Tray races, huh? Oh well, I mean it's PC Nintendo Switch, so it makes sense, you know. It makes sense. That was Tray Racers, which is coming to PC and Nintendo Switch in 2023. Next up, we have an update from our friends at Quali about their growing lineup of PC and console games. Let's see what they've got. Product not yet rated. Ooh, not wait, what? Not rated? How is it not rated?
Hmm. Looks pretty cool. Guys, need a little bit of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Only a little. Okay, 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 okay. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Okay, it's getting, uh, getting there. Okay. Um. Yes. I mean, I don't mind it if it's you know, like Zelda or Breath of the Wild esque. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as it's good and not empty world, then yeah, sure. Okay, that was a quick switch. Hmm. I just want to look really good again. It might be like uh, for honor a little bit. It's just, uh, you know. This was a weird. Uh, it's a 2D, you know. Oh. I guess uh, Doom Mass Games? I mean. There aren't many Doom like. Well, aren't there? Huh. I mean, the only thing that would make a Doom like would be if there's some kind of, you know, metal music to it. It's kind of ridiculous, insane music. Metal or dubstep or whatever, electric or whatever, whatever that is. Oh, another, I guess, I guess BPM type game. Like we had metal, right? Or was it Hellsinger? That was Hellsinger, right? So yeah. Then like BPM, we have another one of those here. Getting quite uh, popular. In the beginning I was like, okay, it's like a niche genre. And now I've seen maybe three of those <laughs> uh, the last few days now. I mean, I guess it gets there, right? It gets there. First look at Wildmender and RoboBeat. What's next, Denise? How about an explosive roguelite where you play as not one, but four blade-wielding badasses? Samurais? Okay, combat looks nice. Got a hint of platinum games there. Only a hint. We can switch in and out of. Um, we can turn into a samurai, then we can switch into a mecha style. Or even, even mecha though. It's more like. I guess spirit in a way. Not really spirit, I was. I would also say Gundam Android maybe? I don't know. Oh, look at them multiple. Okay, sorry about the lag, I don't know what's going on right now. More about metal, okay. And with this music, I mean, that kind of bring a lot of uh, adrenaline to it. Because, you know, it gets you hyped and all. More you know, to keep on getting better and better. Work of just one developer. Morbid metal yeah, one is coming soon to one person did this? I mean, yeah, Doug, I that's really huge. Just that's really, 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 really huge. It's like, tee up, hit it onto the green, get a hole in one, all that jazz. It's just too easy. I think I have the perfect solution for you. And it involves disco balls and flying cars. Okay, now we have what? Rocket League. But not really Rocket League. But Golf Rocket League. Huh, okay. Of course, it's not really Rocket League, but you know. What a golf. I mean, I guess it's good for the people who love these type of games. I don't care too much about it, so... I mean, it looks still pretty good, you know? Looks pretty alright. Pretty alright.
Okay, I mean, I take it, you know, for the people who love those things. Turbo Golf Racing, okay. Beta 2, oh. So we're gonna do a beta as well, well. That was Turbo Golf Racing, which is launching into early access on August 4th. There's also a demo available right now on Steam and Xbox, so be sure to check it out after the show. Cool, cool. Do you feel like you're being watched, Doug? Uh, I mean, we are on a live stream right now. Yes. I just feel like my whole life is being directed. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Cue the sun. Uh, I mean, run the trailer. Now in its 55th season. That's um, Arcadia. American Amer Arcadia. Yeah, American Arcadia, Arcadia game, yeah. 24 hours a day, I mean, do we see more of this though? Every digital and maybe we do. Maybe more gameplay instead of the same trailer. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years. Welcome to Arcadia, a bird of a touristic city where all citizens enjoy a life of luxury and comfort, unaware that they are being broadcast live 24-7. Arcadia is not an ordinary city, but the most watched media phenomenon on the planet, where a drop in popularity comes at the highest cost. Dead. What? Gus is dead? En American Arcadia tenemos dos tipos de gameplay totalmente diferenciados. Por un lado tenemos el Side Scroller en 2.5D, con acción y plataformeo, persecuciones y, como no, puzzles. Por otro lado tenemos la jugabilidad en primera persona, con un tono un poco más pausado, que nos lleva a experimentar mecánicas de exploración, sigilo y hacking, usando siempre los puzzles como parte central de la jugabilidad. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. Cool, cool. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. We tell the story of two characters. One of them is living inside the uh, Arcadia, that is a city where everything is perfect. But it's so two characters. Average. Trevor is just an average person living a mundane life. But the problem is since he's living inside a TV show, that is not interesting for the audience. It doesn't make him popular. The ratings uh, are not working. And the TV show just wants to take risks on him. So when he realizes uh, that everything was a lie, his life changes totally. That's the moment when he is going to escape. What, a mundane person changing all of a sudden and he starts getting hunted down? No way. What? Evocador, nos gusta crear mundos sorprendentes que sean visualmente atractivos y, como he dicho, sobre todo evocadores. Y además, nos gusta darles una vuelta, una vuelta de tuerca. Y en este caso, hemos elegido una visión bastante brillante y colorida de, de lo que serían los años 70. Los personajes, los ambientes, incluso el mobiliario representan esta versión utópica y bastante kitsch de una ciudad de los años, de los años 70. What we want to tell uh, is that you don't need to live just for getting likes on, on Instagram or other social networks. Just do the things that make you happy and you don't need to care about what the others think. Control subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Sorry about the lag. No. Thanks to Out of the Blue Games for that exclusive insight I mean, I into hope. the dark side of reality TV in American Arcadia, which is coming soon. Only for now, and hopefully fix now, itself later. Now, wondered what life was like for Optimus Prime before he got famous, then our next trailer has all the answers. Not look too bad. I mean, probably like another, you know, another one of those um, Euro Truck Simulator games, which I don't mind. I like them. They're all right. They're always pretty good. So it's not too bad. Hmm. So it's like. Um, I guess the life of a truck driver. It's not really your truck simulator, like more of a, I guess your one truck simulator who does everything. But never mind, it's both. <laughs> I 
guess we're gonna be doing all that, huh? What's up, Doug? Oh, my bad. I, I was just booking a trip to Alaska. <laughs> Free gas. We're pleased to announce that a demo for nice. Alaskan nice. Truck Simulator is out now, and the game is coming to PC and consoles in Q4 2022. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Cockle, though you may know me best from CD Projekt Red's beloved Witcher trilogy. Wait, why are we back at the start? Oh, I've just been playing with this weird device that the developers of our next game sent me. Want me to press this other button and see what it does? No, no. Let's just, uh, roll the trailer. I love that the player skid. Like, Geralt and, uh, you know, J Yen would do it. Okay, so we have, uh, gun r that restores everything. With the pro former state. Is approaching 100 million degrees Celsius. Oh, great. Puzzles are the most efficient way of generating entropy energy. As an entropy sensor employee, the continued existence of this station and Earth. And it looks like a energy generation. Puzzle based game. Like almost like portal. Maybe it's not a portal game, but I don't believe so. I don't believe in Valve anymore, right? Yeah, cause whenever they bring out the game, it's gonna be good. But you know, you know how unlikely that they're gonna bring back Portal. Okay, so solve puzzle, brain hurts, generate energy, then rewind Earth. Exactly. Oh, pretty, uh, pretty good. I want to know what the story is about, though. Restoring the elf, huh? The Entropy Center. Alright, cool, cool. Always, uh, what do you mean, kick me? What? Okay. That was the Entropy Center, which is coming to PC and consoles in 2022. Next up, we've got a special presentation from some incredible Ukrainian developers. Games development can be challenging at the best of times, and with the ongoing conflict, okay. we wanted to highlight and celebrate the incredible uh, yeah. work they That's continue sad. to do. The world Let's take a like look. This, eh? On February 24 at 5 a.m., our cities were bombed. The war drastically changed game development. During the first months of war, the work on the game was mostly stopped. We sleep in shifts and regular air raid alerts have made us move to our apartment's hallway pretty much permanently. My teammates, Ruslan and Xu, have spent a week inside Kharkiv Metro covering from never-ending airstrikes and had to reach the city railway station by underground tunnels to evacuate. Hey everyone, I'm Alex from Weasel Token, an indie duo based in Kyiv, Ukraine. Our current project is a peaceful puzzle adventure called Puzzles for Clan. The story is quite, quite the... Following an invitation from her sister, a young bunjo, quite a switch, you know, from so going from war to a peaceful to game like this. A huge treasure hunt. But of course, there would be some interesting twists for those willing to dig deeper. Gameplay wise, you'll get to explore the island with tons of secrets all over the place, solve a variety of puzzles, be friends with and whimsical locals. From time to time, you'll also need to learn and play some special melodies that Ooh, that's the cool. world around you. We would really appreciate it if you followed Weasel Token on social media. Those are the... Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Please wishlist and follow Puzzles for Clef on Steam. That helps a lot. Also join us on our Discord server. She's a bunny. We see it as, right? With the ears and all. The dress. My name is Vitaly. It's pretty, uh, and I represent Marvel Collective. Together, we are working on Zero Losses. A short, open world driving game with horror elements and hollow atmosphere. Interesting. It's a driving game, okay. Our inevitable reaction to the events surrounding us. While most games about war focus on action and combat, we wanted to bring a different perspective, filled with oppressive dark atmosphere, 
showcasing the unsettling aftermath of the modern warfare. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on Twitter and YouTube. Look for I mean, it's cool, games. but you know, war games, like in war games perspectives, like perspective wars, okay. I mean, we already have plenty of that, but you know, there's always, you know, kind of a different vibe, you know. Of ex mayor of the in being in the war, they're making a war game as well. To solve the mystery of never ending down power, can you subscribe to my social networks? There's also a raw like game like this. Thank you very much. Looks really good as well. Hello, world. My name is Andrei Bichkovsky. I'm indie game developer originally from Kyiv. Together with a small team, I'm working on turn based Mars Colony City Builder called Farlanders. In my games, I'm always trying to make some unique mechanics to stand out. Except for colony building, the core mechanic in the game is terraforming. Also, in the game, you can learn new technologies, trade with other colonies, and explore underground caves. So, to summarize, if Farlanders seems like your cup of tea, which listed on Steam, or try out Farlanders Prologue, which is already available for free. Hi, my name is Albert Koner. I am the developer of the indie game Through the Nightmares. Through the Nightmares is a hardcore platformer about Sunman that travels in the mysterious and frightening world of the children Nightmares. The player will have to overcome oh, this the like, uh... and fight with the almighty god of dreams, Morpheus. I mean, there are a lot of platformers and jump and run games, but it is not really platform, but this has also, you know, a few vibes, you know, the vibe from Ori. So, I mean, almost all of, all of Ori like games, jump and runs, but your mother's games are pretty good, you know, they're also different vibes. Like, one is more peaceful, the other one is a noir like game, like a detective game. If you like the animation series Gravity Falls the one, you know, or Over the Garden Wall, you're going to love being our next like game. As well. Lost in Play is a puzzle adventure that follows two siblings lost in their own imagination. Yeah, okay. I'm just Arsa already, you know, already screams. It's a random ass game. Which, you know, has already whacking this plant all out. Reminds a lot of the, you know, old, old school TV shows, how they made those, you know, cartoons. Yeah, it's pretty good. It looks really, really good. Hopefully, the store's good. And we're set. Lost okay. in Play lands on PC and Nintendo Switch on August 10th, 2022. You know what? We're approaching the midpoint of the show, and I could kill for a nice, refreshing drink. Is there any Redanian lager lying around? Spoken like a true witcher. <laughs> we don't have any real beer, but this next trailer is sure to quench your thirst. What's that? Here? Is that a beer simulator? I mean, it looks like a... Okay, it is a beer simulator, okay? How to make you a perfect beer or whatever kind of beer it is, right? I mean, I guess if people enjoy it, they enjoy it, right? There are all kinds of things people enjoy, you know? There is a niche for everyone. But the way it makes sense... If you ask me, I cannot deal with it. I think that's done the trick. Brewmaster is coming to PC and consoles in 2022 with a demo available right now on Steam. Next, let's check out an exclusive trailer for Bramble, the Mountain King, a puzzle platformer heavily inspired by Nordic folklore. Bramble?
Hello everyone, my name is Eleanor and I'm the lead artist at Dimfrost Studio and today I will introduce one of our creatures that you'll meet on your journey in Bramble the Mountain What King, the hell was a that? Dream adventure Whoa. based on dark Nordic fables. Nekin is just one of our favorite creatures from Nordic folklore, found in cautionary tales meant to scare children from going too close to the water. In Bramble, Nekin is a lonely creature, living in a lake, luring people with his music so enchantedly that they would drown. In his past life, he was just a simple man who loved playing his violin. Unfortunately, the village didn't appreciate his talent, and people would frequently bully him. What? The only soul that didn't. What a, a dark girl story, that man. Nekin fell in love with. One day, the bullying and beating became so severe that Nekin's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh and bone got worn down. What? What kind of died, death is that? Leaving behind shuffling corpses, still trying to dance to Nekin's mouth. How did they even lose their legs? His love wasn't spared death either. I mean, I understand, you know, get your death feet getting, you know, Nekin sore and everything. It's like bleeding after a while if you do it too much, but... Getting your legs ripped off? What? Nekin is just one of the creatures you'll meet in Bramble the Mountain King. You will meet many more, both big and small, good and evil on your journey throughout the beautiful yet deadly world of Bramble. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC and consoles. Be sure to add Bramble to your wish list. Thank you Ooh. for watching. That's a pretty That's kind of unique, you know. It's pretty unique. I know a necker when I see one. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC and consoles. Okay, now I'm no mobster, but I've got an offer that you can't refuse in the form of a world premiere. World oh, premiere. Holy shit! Look at this world premiere. So it's a mafia esque game, more like mafia setting. Has always been divided into people with money and those who want to get it at any cost. And in the middle of this conflict are also oh, he got those who just fight on one side or the other. Unknown heroes or villains. Perhaps the right choices can be written on the pages of one story or another. The best way to get rich is sometimes to get remembered. Yeah, I know about that. I don't think that will, Each you know. Single struggle will be the fight. That's how things work. State. You still need some uh, accomplishments. Enemy of the state is coming to PC and consoles in 2024. Now we've had so many amazing trailers, but I think it's time for a break. Tea, coffee, ale. Oh, I've got something better than tea. You just have to follow me through one of my portals. No need to be afraid, though. We have done this before. Uh, this never ends well for me. Oh my god, where am I? It's so bright. Arcade so games small? or just multiple gooseberries? And no games just just this is here. the virtual show floor. Every booth in here has a game attached with a demo going live after the show. Google oh, cool. future games show Steam to find the dedicated page and try out any of the games you like the look of. Let's go. Just when you thought you'd had enough of being tarnished this year. We've got a fantasy RPG set in the ruins of two divine kingdoms. The tarnishing of Juxtia features awesome boss battles, high risk, high reward combat, and a beautiful score to boot. Now that's it's cool. also launching later this year in summer 2022. What's next, Denise? From one ruined kingdom to another, let's take a look at the grimdark world of orcs. A blend orcs. of tower defense and deck building gameplay. Orcs invites players to fortify castles and expand their territory while fighting against an onslaught of, you guessed it, orcs. With over 300 cards and four factions to play with, orcs is coming to PC later this year. Over here, we've got a point and click inspired by the LucasArts classics. Let's check in on a Ooh, point and clicks. With hand drawn backgrounds and a catalog of comical characters, 
This old school adventure will have you giggling and traveling to broken cities, mighty pirate ships, deep jungles, and more. Inspired by games like I've seen one of those in a long time. Monster Train, here comes a rock and roll roguelite where players use musical abilities to fend off a mosh pit of monsters. This diverse deck builder is a bona fide battle of the bands where you assemble a team of vicious virtuosos to defend against well, it's almost like demons. a combination of Slayer Spire and Reptilian Darkest Rising Dungeon. It's a turn based tactics game where you take on a bunch of horde of lizards and future as good as well. Dinosaurs. Fighters from great. across time are recreated in a retro miniature format, in a true homage to the tabletop style of the 1980s. Reptilian Rising features multiple replayable levels with lots of bonus objectives, and you can also challenge fellow players in online PvP to see which tactician ends up on top. Think less I am the danger and more I am the savior. Potion Permit is a cute chemist simulator from Mass Hive Media. With rich pixel art and a soaring score, you'll get Ooh. ingredients to brew precious remedies that help the townsfolk of Moonbury. Pack your satchel because Potion Permit is seeing a lot of these type of games, right? In 2022. Next up, we've got a gorgeous rhythm game set in a these world old of school RPG esque games. games. Pits players in a pastel world where they must unravel a narrative. By That's a combination of uh, Stardew a little bit in there, just to make it a bit more appealing. Next up, we've got a musical adventure about two best friends trying to make it in the big city. Once Upon a Jester follows Jester and Sock as they try to develop a dynamic, <laughs> improvisational theater show worthy of the royal theatrical spectacle. Decide your genre, That's goofy listen as to the crowd, and make valuable friends in this handcrafted lo-fi odyssey. If you've ever wanted to play tag in a graveyard full of ghouls, then this game is for you. Bail or Jail is a creepy, cute, asymmetrical multiplayer <laughs> game from Konami. Players it's like three minutes to run um, runaway humans. Dead by Daylight, Justin. Malevolent monsters, each with unique I guess, abilities. And that's a wrap on the this, virtual show. I guess Chibi form future games show game. Page if you want to play I mean, these Chibi characters the show free of set in the world of Dead by Daylight. Well, not really set in the world, but more like Dead by Daylight. You, you know, mechanics and all. Steam to download all those demos. It probably has its uh, audience in Japan, um, maybe even in the West. I don't know. I think that means there's another world premiere on the horizon. But also, also not too bad. You know, it's not too gritty. You know, not too dark. Still pretty, you know, creepy, but Peggy 18. still chibi. Chibi characters are most of the time not really, you know, as brutal. And detail, uh, you know, like, like all the other survival games. Oh my god, Sally! Oh no, Sally! Sunday Gold. I have no idea what it was. I mean, it didn't tell me much, right? Other than it could be. That was your first look at Sunday Gold, which is coming in 2022. Not an RPG, though. Our next game is coming to VR. It's gonna tell. But I doubt you'll be able to keep your fancy headsets on for too long when you're playing. Let's take a look. VR game frames PlayStation talents wait what Oh, 
Oh, Julia. Do not open. Wait, what's the game called? Is it, is it really called Do Not Open? Yes, it is called Do Not Open. Wow, wow. I'll pick hide, please. Do not open is coming to VR platforms in fall 2020. Please, someone at least open the door. Now it's time for an update on Bright Memory Infinite, FYQD Studios' hectic shooter. Shelia, according to info from the front lines, General Lin's unit has arrived at the scene. General Lin? The top dog in SAI. They say that tech wise, even we here at SRO can't hold a candle to these guys. Roger. I'll move cautiously. <laughs> to think we'd meet like this. Once it's all been poured out, a new world will be born. Oh, well, oh, I remember this game. It was... I mean, it had, I think, a few episodes, or one episode. I remember it. <laughs> Being not made by a lot of people? Interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I guess give her more outfits. Hey, hey. Bright memory, yeah. Infinite. Coming soon. Well, it's not out yet, huh? I thought it was already out, but I guess not. Wait, it's not coming to PC? What? Bright memory infinite is out now on PC and is coming soon to PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. So it's not coming to Next PC. Up, we've got a gothic horror metro. I know game. Xbox, but Looks you know, like a pixely version of Bloodborne. Let's check it out. <laughs> I mean, if he's wrong, not wrong on that. Okay, that's called uh, Bloodvania. Fantastic. I guess we already solved the puzzle. That looks good, looks good. Like an old 4, you know, it has a deep uh, system of combat and all. With weapons and all. The Bloodvania. That's how I will dub this genre of games. The mixture of Bloodborne and. Castlevania. And being really angry. I know you get you gotta get you know get your anger out there. Understandable, understandable. Lost faith, all right. Doesn't look too bad. Looks actually really good. Of course, a lot of people will be trying to play it and check it out because it is the last Bloodborne is coming to themed PC almost. In 2022. Now, let's check in with our friends from Team 17 who have a montage of exciting upcoming games to show us. Peggy 18. Yeah, I don't think that chair will hold it. this whole gate up, okay? Time messy, huh? Hmm. Autopsy? Simulator? Oh god, please don't. Well, who do we have here? 
Ugh. Oh, disgusting. I know why you would do that. The unliving. Hmm. There's like a... Board? Hmm. That looks like uh, they are billions. But at the same time, you know, this character could summon zombies on the ground, so... Who knows what it might be? Is it, is it a, look like a co-op game? Sunday Gold, yes, we've seen it. But uh, I guess... Kind of, oh, no, this is a gameplay I'm seeing. Turn-based combat. Hmm. A turn-based detective game? Almost? Sweet transit. Oh, so it's a Arca uh, Age of Empire game? Age of Empire likes. <laughs> Put everything, you know, uh, you know, Age of Empire and then the likes, the word likes behind it. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's almost like a mobile game. But it it is not. The Night Witch. Alright. And this. A lot of whole whole lot of RPG and bullet hell. Uh, bullets. A yeah, bullet hell, yeah. I think we did see it, right? I think it was a devolver. Watch me in front of him. Three, two, one. Okay. I mean, it was obvious, okay? It was as always as it gets. Be sure to wishlist any games that stood out, and you can read more about them on gamesradar.com. That's not Have too bad. Have you ever wondered what the bugs in your house are doing when you're out? Not really. Probably just making a mess. You'd what be mean? surprised. Throwing a Try party, complex huh? complex governmental structures and organized religion. At least that's the brief I've got for Tinykin, which is up next. What organizing religion? What? What is this? What the hell? Tiny Kin. Welcome to the fascinating world of Tiny Kin. Tiny Kin are extraordinary little creatures. Alone, they rarely pose a threat. But in great numbers, they are exemplary. Look, here's some now. Ah, the purple tiny kid. Extremely powerful despite their small stature. Look here, green tiny kid. Extremely resourceful in reaching daring new heights. Don't look too bad, you know. It's, it's probably a. Unless you want a blue Probably a cute little game for with a powerful to like this type. And that's everything. Wait, what's this? That minion S oh, look. Oh. There's Daniel, oh my god. A red tiny kid. Adorable. With an immensely fiery temper. Tinykin is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. You know when you're finished cleaning, but you realize you missed a bunch of crumbs? It's like, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Yeah, it's like when the boss orders a hit and you've got to go clean it up after hours. Yeah. Mm, sort of. Maybe this next game is for you.
four people sharing a table on a New Year's Eve. A plate full of troubling memories. And a bitter taste of regret. Mother, should I run for president then? 505 Games and Draw Distance are proud to present Serial Cleaners. Holy, what? Serial Cleaners? No way. Now, is it after a murder happened? You're about to, you know, jump in. Have to clean this house real quick, you know, so nothing looks out of the ordinary. That's really. Really interesting in you know, the concept of you know the murder happened and you need some cleaners to you know to clean up the place so it doesn't come down to any problems. Seeing it you know from a way that is all that stands in the way of redemption. Then you always need cleaners in a murder case in a way, right? Okay, murdered someone and now we need to clean to so come up and clean up it could be a really good game you know it could also be a, a, a terrible game if the story doesn't you know doesn't translate that well ah, so that's how you get wine out of a carpet serial cleaners is launching in september on pc nintendo switch playstation and xbox do you ever miss taking your shoes off in front of strangers and spending your life savings on a cup of coffee? And boy, do we have the simulator for you. Hmm. Is this another sim? Or is just no. Or you're uh, simulating an airport. Yeah, it's an airport simulator. Okay, I mean, getting so many simulations, or like simulators. It's quite surprising to see. Forget to renew your passport because Airport Simulator is coming into land on PC and Xbox Series X and S in 2023. Let's break things up with our ones to watch montage. Keep your eyes peeled for several exciting games that are coming in the near future and check out this awesome bespoke introduction from the team behind Inculinati. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on watching those. But to be honest, I don't think I will. But you know, always gonna keep my eye out for those games. Mythbuster get a game? What? Really? The Mythbuster the game. Okay. Like pixel, pixel shooter. Did any of those games right, turn your head? Check out a little bit of two rock in there for more information. 
Next up, we've got a new game from the minds behind Happy Game Amanita Design. In Phanopolis, you'll help Felix solve playful puzzles in an avant-garde fiberboard city. We couldn't quite work out how either, but what you're about to see is actual gameplay. That was Phanopolis, which is coming soon. Now we've got a subterranean roguelike where you play as a lucid dreamer in a world of endless slumber. Please, please grant us protection from that hideous strength. He casts a shadow as endless as the dream. We all wither in its shade, succumbing to all manner of desire willed into being by the dream. Those who refuse to slake such corrupt thirst are cast into the mm, That's pretty cool. That's another one of uh, a lot of combination. Looks pretty fun as well. At the same time, I know what the story is about. It doesn't tell me a lot. This dream is ours. Does it look like something set in the void? A safe return? A better world? Better Okay, never mind. You have a gold. Fuck, I guess so. spitting lost an ass. requires a shepherd. What manner of shepherd are you, Wolf? Down here? The only one around. Don't sleep on being in becoming, which is <laughs> becoming soon to PC. Our next game follows a pilot who crash lands in the Arctic after his plane is chopped in half by mysterious forces. But he also has a court-mandated therapy robot called Alfie. Every cloud, right? Hello, Kai. I thought you could use some company up here. Another fire watch on our hand. At least this game. Looks like it has a some kind of power station out here. Companion with you. Hey Donovan. Donovan, you copy. Definitely not copying. <gasps> Arctic Awakening. Ooh, no cool. television, no lasers, no useful functions whatsoever. Can you do anything to actually help? I am happy to talk it through with you. Uh, Doug, it's your line again. Oh, sorry. I'm just canceling that trip to Alaska. That was Arctic Awakening, which is coming Wait, didn't to we had PC, joke before? Mac, and consoles in 2023. I think we did, right? We've had a lot of fast-paced games in this showcase, but none quite as quick as our next trailer. Let's stay on track and check this one out.
This is not a challenge for the Oh yeah, that's the this uh, F1 manager game. World, come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits, and that legacy continues today. It's lights out, and away we go. I love power, I love power. Just stay in the car for a second. There's not much in it at the front, with the two cars constantly vying for first place. It's a thrilling battle with neither driver giving an inch. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs. But it's interesting that at this stage. you know it's a showing an F1 game here. You know it's not really F1, F1, but more like uh, here we go. With the more like a uh, manager game. Oh, that's pretty nice. I think we should be satisfied with. Uh, I'm wondering how that's gonna work out with you know with voices and all that. Strap yourselves in. This is Formula One. Who wants to be in the driver's seat when you can be in the driver's driver's seat? Anyway, don't forget to tune into the PC Gaming Show to see the first gameplay from F1 Manager, which is racing onto PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 25th, 2022. Put your dukes up, folks, because this next game is a certified DKO. Wait, what does that mean? A uh, divine knockout, Doug. Duh. Oh god, in a chibi type game, oh lordy. Oh lord. That was Divine Knockout, which is coming soon. I mean, it doesn't really Our look next that good. game is an adventure epic where you navigate a world full of tricky puzzles with the help of your robo friend. It's true that behind every main character there's a smart, talented companion to help them get through it all. Denise, are you referring to Yennefer? Well, if the shoe fits, here's Planet of Lana. Hmm. That looking nice. Ooh. Hey, I mean, it's a puzzle game with a companion again. Not pretty, pretty solid. The graphic looks also pretty nice, and everything else is also pretty beautiful. What is in the background? Is this some kind of mech or is it also some kind of, you know, living being? Oh, you'd never know, right?
2022, so probably towards the end of the year, maybe. Oh, yeah, Planet of Lana. Planet of Lana is coming to PC and Xbox in 2022. It will be interesting what the end is going to be like. This maybe next reveal is a pretty big deal. No spoilers, but let's just say I really didn't see this one coming. Too? To our skills to the test. Okay. Deadly Premonition 2 is out now on PC. That's right. Now. Today. This second. Go check it out. Based on the notes on my script, it looks like the producers were struggling for jokes on this one. There's something about Geralt hunting a Moomin. Honestly, it's not even worth it. This trailer is adorable, and I just need you all to see it. Enough keen. I mean, it looks all right, you know. Looks all right. Help anyone? Nothing urgent, only if you have time. Wait, <laughs> what do you mean, have time? <laughs> only a time before Melody at Moomin Valley is coming to those bees come after you in 2023 with a soundtrack from Icelandic post rock band Sigur Ross. Last but not least. We've got a brand new multiplayer survival game that fans of Pokemon are sure to enjoy. Let's check it out. What do we have here? Hell World. Okay. What? Oh my god. Nah, don't tell me it's gonna end up like Pokemon. <laughs> Does you know we have guns this time around? This one is scuff Pikachu. Oh my god, Plop as well. Oh Jesus. RPGs no. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it is like Pokemon. <laughs> oh my lord. Yep. I mean, uh, I mean, it is. It's even yellow and black. But it's more, I guess, more brutal Pokemon. We also have the Nessie using RPGs and more like rockets, the rocket launcher. But it's already pretty, uh, pretty funny though. Getting held up with guns and all. Starting blasting with RPGs and all. And here we are, cheap to using machine guns. Sounds about right. But let's be fair. It looks actually pretty funny and fun as well. So, looks good as well. Can't wait to check that one out. Well, it looks like we're at the end of the show. It's been an no. Oh, oh, she. Check the back of your script. I think we missed something. Okay. Do you also have end, one eh? more thing written in blood? Is that normal? Yes, I do. And no, this is not normal. I'm gonna go sharpen my silver sword. Team Cloud. 
Okay, or you're gonna do disgusting ass monster. Why is it always human esque or zombie likes every time? Jesus. Now that really is the end of our show. But remember to try out all the demos on our future game show Steam page. And head on over to gamesradar.com for more follow-up coverage on all of the games that you've seen today. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone involved in this year's Future Games show, powered by Mana, and, of course, you guys watching at home. I'm Doug Cockle. And I'm Denise Goff. And, and this, this has, has been the Future, Future Games game show, June 2022. Cool. Okay, that was that. That was the whole uh, Future Games show. Um, you know, I missed it. Either it was... You know, it was, I guess, better than expected. Probably, you know, probably on par it's with the... Uh, and away we go. Well, I would say it's almost, almost on par with the, uh, you know, the first day of Summer Game Fest, but you know, it's still pretty good. Still pretty good. I'm seeing more gameplay, so that's also pretty solid. Seeing more games that we haven't seen yet. I would say overall, it's uh you know seeing more Nightingale stuff to see then also the Bloodvania style games. But yeah, overall, pretty colorful, pretty different game and art styles. So yeah, it was uh, pretty impressive to see. Also, a few more horror games. Is I don't play them <laughs> as always. It's always pretty nice. Pretty pretty solid. Here it is portal, portal like game. Mana is the gaming rewards debit card that puts the power All right, in solid, players. solid. So with every quest Cool. Cool, cool. Cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not too bad, you know. Oh. Ooh. 